Okay, so this is the spaceship model from the kit bashing experiment, just running through all the various components in a separate scene and also noticing it's not lined up on the x axis. So we're getting all the bits together and lining it up. And as you can see, they're not all quite lined up. So on the first bit, so we're going to be adding a tunnel in this section to connect onto the front of the spaceships. Uh, fooling about here with getting all the various segments together um, using slide and edge duplicate for that and now that that's set and all lined up also moving the spaceship back onto the correct axis so the, the bit that we're working on is centered on the origin point going through and selecting the tunnel segments I'm not doing this with any kind of preset design I'm just kind of making it up as I go along so hence scrubbing bits in scrubbing bits out and now we can see me just going through and going oh should have bevel this should have bevel that and just starting to add a bit more of a definition to these outer bits bringing them out bringing them in using the bevel tool and then just bringing in a bit more detail just to make it look slightly more believable. I mean this is still a first pass on this element and now doing the same on the side 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 bits bringing in potentially for venting also just having a quick look at what happens when you go to sub D's and Pixar Pixar sub D sorry but not convinced about that uh, removed the inner elements and then now just bridging the inner span so that I can create some detail to give it more of a cage effect rather than a tunnel. As I say, just making this up practically as I go along in terms of the design. Not overly I bridged the wrong bit there at the end. So now bridging the top using symmetry on the x-axis and as you can see just finding quicker ways to do things as you go through each iteration. On the side elements, just lining up using the um, snapping tools and one element so that I've got a quad on each out, each poly, each of the two polygons. Sorry, here just lining up, and also I'm noticing there's a thick line on one of those polygons just there, which I'm having a fiddle with and seeing what's wrong with the vertices tried to use the vertex merge tool but that didn't work so now going diving into my script library and using the mesh cleanup lining it all up and now just finishing off the top of that bridge element now looking at the glass bit not real, not overly happy but then thinking maybe I want to make a floor plate out of that so scrub that but then brought in these inner elements from the existing bit put them into a new mesh now using local to and thicken to create these little stepways and that's a word I just made up. Also noticing I hadn't got quite got the spacing on that um, last element so I'll need to fix that. Using bridge but not really um, happy with the results so just going to bridge these polys together and that's kind of going into somewhere that I want duplicating for the end bit and now just bringing in these underneath panels so that I can potentially do something with that later on if I want but if nothing else it will give me a bit of definition for lighting again having a look at what happens if I go sub D we'll look at that more later probably now bringing in just little elements to connect on the bottom and on the top not sure what's going on with that weird polygon in there so not using bevel now using inset pulling out some pulls lighting those up reducing down, bringing them up, doesn't really matter too much about the design. Thinking about the composition of the final image, those side areas are just way too deep. Oh, I'm just now fixing that end element, um, lining all that up. So, you've now gone into Y symmetry, bang, 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 across the top and the bottom of those two elements and can now reduce them in size, give them a bit less of a cross section so you can actually see what's going to be walking down the tunnel and here just beveling out some little element which I'm going to make f uh, light probably so that we can light on and that's the bit of blocking out this tunnel 
Okay, next bit, integrating this into the scene. So we dive back into the scene. And I just did a bit quick, but tidy up, bring it in. And duplicate it down. And you, you, this part, you're going to see a lot of mistakes because I was just having a look, switching the city on, see how the lighting looks. Okay, that's cool. Going back, realizing that I did, the floor was too solid, so I'm going to have to work on that. Bring it in, trying a couple of things. Mm, edges too close together. Not, but this way, just new surface on top and new surface on the bottom. Bringing it in, realized I'd actually made um, duplicates rather than instances of the tunnel segment. So I'm not doing that again. Cloning them to root, so I know where they are. That's all done. Now working on the texture for the uh, flooring, running through all my material libraries, not finding anything I want. Now adding, um, trying the Spotify material, seeing if I can get bits from that. Not, not happening at all. Now going to try the checker material. Um, brain really wasn't fully engaged during this bit. Also, I'm sorry, I left my Twitter notifications on. Um, yeah, flipping through this, not happening. So we're gonna add a grid, switch texture layer, um, uh, switch it to diffuse amounts, easier to see. Um, 50 mil, all nice. Switch it to transparent amount, lovely. Mucking about with that. Give it diffuse color so we can see through. And then looking at that, realizing really the tunnels need a membrane and again just checking that with the um, city switched on also now just starting to do a bit of scene tidy up renaming the directional light as the sun because it is tidying all the bridge elements together tidying all the ships together these are all little um, kit bashing elements from the spaceship elements which I'm using to generate the buildings using the replicators big ships, um, mucking them about into flying and ones that are parked. So now just come back into the model and I want to create a plastic membrane across the top. So first things first, get rid of these connecting poles. Um, get rid of them, fix polygons because I'm slightly anal and make a new cylinder for the top and then new mesh. Pull that out. Uh, annoying Twitter notification. Sorry about that again. Uh, chuck away the bottom. Um, and here, just trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to do this. I was going to use um, Pixar Sub Ds, pulling in and out. Mm, and I realized I'm a symmetry on, so that's why I got that slight um, not perfect uh, hemisphere. And uh, switch that off. Now snapping to grid. Bring that in. Bop. And that just, as we're working through this, just realized it looked wrong. It was too zigzaggy. So get rid of these loops and then just screw about spending far too long. And this is a good indicator here of trying to do the quick way. And actually, don't do the quick way. Just do the proper way, which is just go in, select your edges, and slide in on each element rather than try and do all elements together. Let's pull in those elements, switch to Pixar sub Ds, and now we've got that nice um, sagging in between each element, which is the look I was after. Pull those out, and those lights are now, let's make them connectors into the main bit. Um, here, tr trying a couple of methods of beveling out and pulling in and out to give this bit a bit more of a support look. Um, Realise when I brought that across later that I still need to probably give that an inner... Um, thickness but again it's one of those things am, am I the only person in the world who's going to notice this kind of thing uh, so just beveling out the inner bit and then copying that in and now that everything is instanced and we're copying the polygons into the mesh rather than the item we can do all that and now going into materials applying a polycarbonate to our tunnel membrane which is all lovely probably going to make that double sided material then switch the city on and thanks very much.